I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam. Cold weather is right around the corner, and that can spell problems for an unprepared spray foam contractor. So here's a few tips to get you ready. First, make sure you're getting the right formula for the temperature of the substrate that you want to spray against. That's number one. Number two, get yourself a laser thermometer if you don't already have one. You can use this to check the temperature of the substrate. You can also use it to check the temperature of the drums in your rig. We want to keep these drums between 70 and 80 all the time. That's going to help you be more successful, less downtime, less problems. So how do we do that? Inside your rig, you want to have heat. Let's say this is our spray foam rig. First, we have to heat the air that's in that space. 70 to 80 degrees. So that's going to help warm the drums from the sides and from the top. But if our drum is sitting right on the floor, even if there's foam insulation underneath, foam doesn't create any heat, it only slows down the transfer of heat. So right now we're still losing heat from the bottom of the drum. To fix that, Let's get the drum off the floor a little bit. Take some two by fours and lay them down flat underneath those drums. That'll let that warm air go underneath and heat those drums from the bottom. That can make at least a 10 degree difference in the temperature of those drums. That's really gonna help you out this cold weather season. I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam. Thanks for watching.